Hey everyone, do you have a special someone that you like to play video games with? Uh, of course now I like to play video games with my wife, but back in the day when I was a kid, I used to love playing video games with my brothers. Now that I'm an adult, it's a lot harder to do that. Uh, we can play over the internet, we can play online, but there's nothing more fun than sitting down next to someone and playing video games. So, I wanted to bring you guys my five games that I like to play with my brothers. I need to work on that title. I'll put something in there. As far back as I can remember, there were three games that were always there. Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, and Mortal Kombat. This game is important to me because it introduced me to competitive play. My eldest brother Brad is responsible for this. I remember playing one-on-one -on -one fighters with him consistently back in the day. This would continue as we got older with just about every Mortal Kombat game we could get our hands on. He taught me not only to get better at fighters, but to take into account what my rivals would do next and to stay two steps ahead of them at all times. So I have to tell this funny story real quick. One time back in the day, whenever I was like, I don't know, three, four years old, my dad was playing against me in Mortal Kombat. Of course, he let me win. Uh, and whenever it said finish him, my brother's like, push buttons, push buttons. So I just pushed up uh, random buttons and I actually did a fatality and it was the coolest thing ever. My dad was like, Jesus, what, what game is this? Why, why, why is it so violent? Switching gears to a cooperative gameplay style, let's talk about Kirby Superstar. This game I primarily played with my older brother Brent. He always made me play as Kirby, so I had to play a little bit more responsibly since when Kirby dies, you lose. We would embark on many journeys across this one game, but my fondest memory is escaping the Meta Knight ship. Brent was always the master at getting out of there. Look, look in this gameplay, I even messed this up while I was recording this. Brent would scoff at my skills right now. Playing as my partner in crime, he would make sure to keep me alive even when it meant sacrificing his character, even though I could just bring him back at a moment's notice. If we felt the need to be competitive, we would go play some Samurai Kirby or Megaton Punch to test our reflexes and timing. To this day, still a heated competition. Jeez, doesn't that get you hyped? Growing up, I really didn't have access to a Nintendo 64. However, my brother from another mother, Steven, did. As kids, when we saw that commercial for Super Smash Bros., we knew we had to play it. It was insane seeing all the Nintendo All-Stars in one game. One player, two player, three player, even four players at a time. Team-based, free-for-all. It was the ultimate party fighting game. Fast forward to the GameCube when Melee came out, Steve was like, bruh, you gotta get over here and come play this. It was everything the first game was times 10. To this day, Smash Bros, especially Ultimate, is one of my favorite, most consistently played games ever. And I totally credit Steve for all the skills I picked up on Smash along the way. Not only one of the best movie to game adaptations ever, but it's also one of the best co-op beat-em-ups ever. The Warriors. Can you dig it? 
Brent rented this game from Blockbuster, and being bad never felt so good. Brawling, stealing, and tagging around enemy territory all around New York was exhilarating. This game was playable with just one person, but the co-op is where it was really at. I didn't even know this game was based on a movie until our dad saw us playing it one day and was like, Hey, wait a minute! Is that the Warriors? No way! Some of the coolest missions would have two players assume the roles of warriors that played very differently. One of my favorite missions, All City, has player one assume the role of Rembrandt, a lightweight, weaker warrior. He's really good at tagging and other skills to make up for his lack in toughness and fighting abilities. However, player two plays as Snow. He's a hardcore brawler, built like a tank, so player two is going to be protecting player one while they lay down tags in enemy territory. This game heavily rewarded the players for having each other's back, and boy did we, and still do. No way to hey, run, Sanchez. Enough of your shit. Here, man, Where's our money? It. Yeah, you're come, short. Come on, man. I, I get you the rest, I swear, okay? Do, do you know I'm good for it, right? Come on. I just get out of the joint, man. Boo. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> Fucking right, man. You see that little wimp fly? Like air, man. Like air. Yeah. Time the evil mage Garm, using the power of the runestones, released a great evil upon the land. This demon, Scorn, broke free of Garm's control, crushing him and imprisoning his soul in the underworld. Scorn then released his minions upon the lands and scattered the runestones across the eight realms so that they might never again be assembled and used against him. No one has dared try until now. When I think of a game that I can sit down and play with my best friends, my brothers, any day, anytime, anywhere, it's Gauntlet, Dark Legacy. Specifically on the GameCube. Up to four player cooperative play, throw in some friendly competition with who gets the food or the treasure, and it turns vanquishing monsters into an exciting experience. We would all choose a character to complement our play styles, warrior, knight, valkyrie, archer, dwarf, the list goes on. This game has given me so many timeless memories, and we still quote this game to this day. No matter how fierce our competition would get, we would never leave a man behind. Not only did I play this game with my brothers, but with all my best friends, even my wife. It's such an easy concept to pick up and play, and listening to some of that music takes me back and even brings a tear to my eye. Gauntlet. Dark Legacy. I'll remember it forever. there you have it. There's the five games I used to absolutely love playing with my brothers, whether they be my blood brothers or brothers from another mother or even my best friends. I used to love playing these games. What are some games that you used to like to play with your siblings or brothers or sisters or something you still like to play with them? Let me know in the comments below. I can't let this video go without mentioning that I made 100 subscribers. That's a really big deal to me. That's really cool. I know I haven't made a video in like forever. I apologize about that. But if you want to hear me talk about certain things or anything like that, just let me know. Hey, we do all kinds of other cool things. Hey, I even have an alternate channel called Gamepad Pass where we play video games and we do all kinds of weird projects. You should check all that out. Um, we have cool stuff. Bye.